Elon Musk is not buying Twitter for financial reasons. He's buying it for ideological reasons in order to push back against what he sees as an encroachment on free speech um, and liberal ideology. If he buys Twitter without any conditions, what's going to happen is Donald Trump, Marjorie Taylor Greene, other extremists, not just in the United States, but in the world, will be will have their accounts restored. And the rules that prevented them from doing certain kinds of extremism and disinformation on Twitter's platform um, will be eliminated so that they will have free reign. It's a massive victory for authoritarian forces, for lies, for extremism and for hate. Um, and what can be done about it is simple. Um, if uh, is t Twitter can put in place conditions as, a, as during the sale, similar to the way that other similar deals were done, like when the Wall Street Journal was sold to Rupert Murdoch. If this deal goes through without any terms of conditions, Twitter will not be the only cesspool. Um, it will spill over and Facebook will get worse. You'll see Trump and others having their Facebook accounts restored. You'll see major social media networks unwind all of the work and progress that they've made to start grappling with the problems of disinformation and threats. Um, and it will ultimately be a victory for hate and lies. We should all recognize that when Donald Trump was taken offline, there was a 73% reduction in misinformation and lies about the elections almost overnight. And that's not just because people were directly consuming it from Trump's social media feeds, and in particular his Twitter feed, but also because there was so much kinetic energy around his social media accounts that he was literally warping the algorithm. And worse, and this is what really concerns me as a media watchdog, Donald Trump's Twitter account presents an irresistible temptation to just about everybody in the news industry. He can move eyeballs to channels. And if he's back on Twitter, that irresistible temptation is now back in action. And you'll see him having much more influence over the, the larger information and media landscapes. Of course, Marjorie Taylor Greene is excited. She's excited for the same reasons that, that Trump's people are. Um, her Twitter account will give her new access and influence to journalists, which will help her get more attention. And then separately, they know that if you let Marjorie Taylor Greene back on, there will be a lot of people just like her that have been taken offline. They see it as a massive victory and an opportunity for the ideology that they represent and stand for. And that ideology is QAnon conspiracies. That ideology is anti-Semitic. Um, these are the people that are excited about Elon Musk taking over Twitter because it knows that they will be able to um, act with impunity, that the rules that were applied to them will be unwound. Um, and that not only will they be unwound, but that there'll be nothing that's to stop them uh, from doing the behavior, the abuse, the trolling, the disinformation that got them um, penalized and sanctioned and suspended in the first place. So that's why they're excited.